Hello and welcome to The Only Way is Open Source. In this short video I shall be showing you how to back up and restore your locally hosted Moodle site in six easy steps. I've put together a short user guide which I've made available in the description below. Note, if you choose to copy and paste the commands directly into the terminal, be sure that there are no additional spaces within the commands and be wary that the commands may have to be tweaked slightly if you did not follow my previous video on how to build a Moodle site. To begin with, let's just check that your Moodle site is up and running. And as we can see, is operational. The first step is to ensure that we've got a backup location for all the necessary files. In this instance, we need to switch user to root. Be prompted for the root password. Enter it in. And now we're going to change directories to the web server itself. So cd space forward slash var forward slash www. Enter. And it's within this location that we're going to make a backup directory. By making it here, this backup directory, its ownership will be the same as everything else owned by www-data, which is the web server. Next, we actually need to back up Moodle itself. Um, to do this, we want to back up Moodle data, which contains the Moodle website data, and the Moodle directory, which contains um, the actual HTML contents. So the first command I'm just going to paste it in. So we want to copy RP Moodle data to backup. And both the Moodle data directory and backup directory are within var www. Next one is copy space dash rp space html forward slash moodle so the moodle directory is in html and we're going to copy that moodle folder to the backup folder so to check that these two directories are in fact in our backup folder if we just do ls space minus l backup. So our backup folder contains Moodle and Moodle data. Next we need to backup the database. We need to use the MySQL dump which is a database backup program space minus u. This represents username and the username for um, my, my MySQL server is root space minus p space the name of the database was moodle space redirect so we're going to pull it out of the server and we're going to tell it to put it into the following location var www backup we're then going to call it moodle.sql prompted for a password as there wasn't one I'm just going to press enter depending on how big your your database is will determine the length of time just for good measure let's just check one last time that the backup directory has everything that we need And yeah, we've got our two Moodle directories and we've got our database itself. Next, we actually want to break Moodle. We want to remove the Moodle data directory, which is currently in var www. So if I just do an ls minus l, we can see there that it's got a Moodle data directory there. If we just have a little look in HTML, we can also see in there is the other Moodle directory. So, to remove both of these directories in one hit, we'll just copy and paste this command. So 
So if I just do an ls minus l for our current location, see Moodle data has gone. And if I do ls minus l for HTML, the Moodle directory is gone. So now we want to remove the Moodle database. So to do this, we actually have to log into MySQL. So again, anyone who saw the previous video and, and, and followed it through and you can literally just copy and paste this command to log into MySQL and it should work. There is no pass, just press enter. Okay, and you can see the, uh, the prompt itself has changed to MySQL, so we are logged into the server. Um, if we just do show databases, you can see the Moodle database is presently there. So to get rid of it, we want to type in drop database Moodle for those of you who like to just check that the, the database has in fact gone we can run the previous previous command again which is show databases and as you can see Moodle is no longer there uh, we no longer need to be in MySQL so we can just quit out of that quit semicolon and we're back to the prompt um, in the terminal. Let's just go and check that our Moodle site is actually broken. So go back to the web browser, refresh your page, and there we go. Low close Moodle, not found. It is well and truly broken. Back to the terminal. So now we want to restore Moodle. So there are two steps to this. We want to restore the Moodle directories, and then we want to restore the Moodle database. In our current location, we are in var www, so that's fine. Simplest thing, we'll just copy and paste this command. We then want to place back the Moodle directory into HTML. Okay, so if we just do an ls minus l, there we are, our Moodle data directory is back. And if we do an ls minus l HTML, Moodle is back. Next, Let's log back into MySQL, be prompted for a password, just press enter as there is none. Remember the Moodle database is no longer there, so we need to create it. Create database Moodle semicolon. For good measure, let's just check it is in fact there. And there we are, Moodle's back. We no longer need to be logged in, so let's just quit out of it. And using this following command, we can take our Moodle.sql file, which is located in our backups directory in the web server. Um, we can redirect it back into Moodle, which is the database we just created on the MySQL server. There's my password, just press enter. For those who have a massive Moodle database, this will take a considerable amount of time, but just be patient. And there you have it. You've backed up and restored your Moodle site. For those of you who just want to finally have one last check, head on over to your web browser, refresh the page, and there we are. Moodle is back up and running.